Hi, good morning. Welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Kwal. The Ghana Mine Workers Union is making a strong case for the recapitalization of the mining sector. According to the union, this is a better alternative to calls for the introduction of windfall tax on mining profits. Speaking to Joy Business after the union's National Executive Council meeting, General Secretary Abdul Mumin Bana said an increased investment for the sector will improve its market offering and create more jobs. I believe as a union that it's important to recapitalize. Because recapitalization would afford opportunity for expansion of infrastructure, mining infrastructure and mining systems. We also believe that it will give us opportunity to increase exploration activity. And once exploration activity increases, there's opportunity for enhanced uh, production. And this certainly would afford us the opportunity as an industry to create a lot more jobs, you know, for teaming young men and women, and indeed people who are falling out arising from this pandemic. So Ghana Man Workers Union actually believes that the government must lead the way. And how would the government lead the way? We believe the government must demand from mining companies in the industry some, you know, very robust plans plans that would ensure that uh, windfall arising from the current price of gold. You know, from about $2,000, with an only sustaining cost of average of between $950 to about $2,500, you are raking in close to about $400 to $500 per ounce as windfall, and that's free cash. And so we believe that rather than other, you know, skeptics would, would advocate, that we introduce or we slap uh, or impose windfall tax on these mining companies, given the critical nature of the state we find ourselves as a country. The government workers should not believe that rather than imposing windfall taxes on these mining companies, we should give them opportunity to pump the money back into the business. Now, the CEO of the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program, John Kuma, says Ghana's heated political environment is to blame for most challenges faced by young entrepreneurs. Even though Ghana has made remarkable strides in easing the cost of doing business, Mr. Kuma argues there is a conspiracy by some politicians to bring down businesses that strove in previous administrations. People always watch the environment. If you are a young man who aims to become a big entrepreneur in future, you are looking at what has happened to those who succeeded. If you succeed and only to lose your business because of the environment that was created, it kind of scares a lot of people away. And I'm saying is the reason why we are not seeing the kind of job creation that we needed to see. So but the environment being the, pol the, part the political environment, the environment, not partisan. We can do our partisan politics and still create jobs. But where you take over people's businesses in the name of politics and denying them their right of ownership to property. So that's partisan politics? No, it's not partisan politics. That is brutish politics. That is killing initiative and drive. And that is why we have not been seeing the entrepreneurial initiative of Ghanaians because we have seen those who succeeded and what happened to them. But I can say that since in the Fourth Republic from 1992, some stability in our environment is gradually encouraging more people to come back to reinvest in Ghana. Because before, you, they could not even invest in Ghana because they are afraid of being chased away. Bring later today at 5 p.m. on Business Live. Don't miss it. Up next, sports. Stay tuned.